this moment in time. I want to talk and pass a message and a warning to the United States of America. The Lord God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit has been dealing heavily with me about the USA for more than a year now. And even though I will be talking very directly and explicitly to the USA, but this in essence is a message and a warning to all the nations and the people of the earth because USA being the only superpower in the world. The effect interact and influence directly and indirectly almost all the corners of the earth, economically, socially, financially, spiritually, morally and technologically, the Lord started talking to me about the United States of America on the 5th of January 2012, and in that very mighty communication of the Lord of the 5th of January 2012 to a vision of the night. The Lord made me know that he had decreed that I was going to be shown an event that is just about to occur, and would ultimately usher in the imminent return of the Lord Jesus Christ to rapture his bride. In the prophecy, I was shown that the ocean is going to pour out its waters onto the land of the United States of America. And as it does this, the ocean was going to kill very many people and shortly thereafter the rapture of the Holy Church of Christ would take place. In the dream, I even experienced the ocean outpouring process onto the land and was shown how this oceanic outpour was going to usher in the rapture of the Bride of Christ. In fact, the message that was imparted in my heart back then from the communication of the Lord of the 5th of January 2012 was that the rapture of the Bride of Christ is very imminent and that the outpour of the ocean water onto the land in the USA would have a crucial role to play in ushering the Bride of Christ into heaven through the rapture. In other words, the oceanic outpour onto the land of USA will occur first, and then later on the rapture of the Bride of Christ occurs. I don't know whether it's immediately or shortly after, only the Lord knows the pattern, the sequence, and the timing of all these. I'm just sharing exactly as was revealed and shown to me by the Lord. I believe this judgment will lead to a wake-up call to the people of USA and indeed the entire earth, and so very many people will then run to the Lord in an explosive revival, as they will then realize that only through repentance in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ will safety and rescue be found. Yes nobody knows the day or the hour, but these are the signs that usher in the rapture of the Bride of Christ into heaven. But only the Lord for sure knows how the timing for all this will play out. The unfortunate thing is that very many people are going to die when this judgment hit, and so they will suddenly find themselves in hell for those who shall have not repented of their sins. And so do not wait to see this judgment before you get right with the Lord. I believe Hurricane Sandy was just a warning, a more disastrous, catastrophic, deadly, destructive, never seen before tsunami is coming to hit USA very soon. The Lord has also spoken to me severally about a mega historical earthquake that will hit California USA. And the Lord made me know that this earthquake will be a mega one to the scale of 9 or 10 on the Richter scale. The first time the Lord revealed to me this prophecy was on the 29th of May 2012 and the Lord made me know that, there is still a bigger earthquake coming to California USA and this time it will be a 9 or 10 on the Richter scale. And on the 5th of September 2012, the Lord revealed to me finer details about this upcoming mega historical earthquake that will hit California. And the Lord revealed to me and showed me the following. When the earthquake occurred, I was shown various scenes and reporting by the international news channels on the same, I saw written that California film production Hollywood had been shattered. I saw and heard people saying and written that USA has now become like Somalia, third world country. I saw people in some Arab and other nations opposed to USA celebrating in the streets of their nation on what had befallen USA. In fact I heard them shouting, Allah Akbar. In the dream of the Lord, I was telling people that when the Lord showed me this prophetic dream about California earthquake, he made me understand that it was a sign of the very imminent rapture of the Bride of Christ. 
The Lord even made me proclaim the following in a prophetic dream after the mega earthquake had hit California, look, this is what I have been sharing with you regarding the mega historical earthquake to hit California, it has now happened. Remember when the Lord showed me this prophecy the Lord made me understand that it is the ultimate sign for the rapture, and that people have to repent and be ready for the rapture, because it can now take place any moment. While the Lord was revealing to me this prophecy, he also brought to my attention that other states in the USA are also going to be affected by the earthquake. I don't know whether this would be another earthquake at another time or it would be the same earthquake. But in the prophetic dream, I clearly saw the state of Virginia to be also going to be affected by a huge earthquake. The Lord made me understand that the leadership of the United States of America will feel the shaking in whichever place that they will be at the time when the mega earthquake will hit California. But the Lord made me understand that even though the earthquake was a very clear message from him, the leadership of the USA will not listen and in fact will harden their stubbornness of lack of fear of the Lord God Almighty. I was made to understand in that very mighty communication of the Lord of the 5th of September 2012, that in fact the crisis brought by the earthquake would be used by the leadership of USA to have an iron and firm grip in running the affairs of the land. And in fact it will be a welcome excuse for them to introduce dictatorship. And so dictatorship is coming to the land of the United States of America and it will be triggered by the mega historical earthquake that will hit California. And on the 14th of December 2012, in yet another very mighty communication of the Lord of the prophecy of the mega historical earthquake coming to USA, the Lord made me understand that people will be cut off from food supply for several days. And so the Lord was in essence stressing to me the need to stock up on food and other necessities since in the dream I was a resident in California, and I actually was a victim of the cut off of the supply of food. The Lord made me to experience the situation when the food supply will be cut off from California. And on the 15th of March 2013, in another very mighty communication of the Lord on the prophecy of the mega historical earthquake coming to California, the Lord God Almighty made me understand that the filth of sexual sin in California has finally reached his throne room in heaven. And that following this, a judgment has consequently been passed on California. And so a mega historical earthquake is about to hit California USA. On the 18th of July 2013, the Lord had communication with me concerning the split of the land of the USA. And so in this very mighty revelation of the Lord through a vision, I found myself in a place at which I was viewing the land from above. I was then made to understand that this place was the United States of America. As I was looking at the land from above, I suddenly heard a very huge tearing sound. A very sharp and cracking sound like the sound of one tearing a big piece of paper. And then when I looked down from where the Lord had positioned me, I saw the land tearing apart and opening up, as a huge trench opened leaving two parts on either side of the huge trench on the land. As the land was tearing apart, it opened up, and thereby creating a huge trench in width and depth, it was moving continuously along the land in a big endless length. And then I saw people in very large numbers falling into the trench as they screamed. People were walking, and then suddenly they were thrown into the trench, and some buried alive. Whenever this train of the land tearing apart reached, people were falling into the trench suddenly because there was no time to escape. The train of the tear moved so fast leaving no time for the people to escape. The tearing sound continued for a very long time and the opening up of the land continued beyond my view. It looked like the tearing up and opening up of the land was occurring along a fault line because it moved in an almost straight line. This probably is the Madrid fault line. The Lord revealed to me this on the 21st of August 2013. And the Lord made me to understand that there is a confrontation and a controversy coming to the earth between the United States of America and Russia. And probably the United States of America is going to lose this confrontation. 
The Lord also made me understand that water is going to be so contaminated such that any usage of this contaminated water will lead to the peeling off of the skin, leading to a reddish layer on the body. I actually was shown a hand of a person who had washed using this water, and the skin had peeled off leaving a reddish layer on the hand. For some reasons not made known to me I was made to understand that this water was in the Russian territory. This sounds to me like a military confrontation, where very dangerous weapons are going to be used including even nuclear weapons. And the Lord made me understand that USA is going to come out as the loser. A lot of destruction, damages and fatalities is most likely going to result from this military attack. And even water is going to be contaminated by toxic elements from the Russian territory. The Lord has also revealed to me that there is martial law coming to the USA. And I was made to understand that martial law is very soon hitting USA and people would be searched like never before. And I believe the martial law will arise as a result of the above judgments of the Lord coming to USA. Why are the above judgments of the Lord coming to the USA? A. Because of sexual immorality in the USA. Homosexuality and lesbianism have become the norm in USA, and the President of USA is the chief crusader and defender of this, both internally and also internationally. B. Because of the murder of innocent children and infants through abortion. There is enormous lack of respect for life. C. Because of the removal of God Almighty, and value systems from the institutions and the fabric of the society in the USA including courts and school systems. In most places of USA, they have removed the Lord God Almighty from their system. Even though, the dollar talks of, in God we trust and almost all the speeches of the President of USA ending with, God bless the United States of America. The question is, how can God bless USA yet it is the same God who has declared that homosexuality and lesbianism to be an abomination, yet majority of the people of USA support this. D. Because of the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit especially through the blasphemous filthy movies and films produced at the Hollywood. E. Because the United States of America is leading a silent agenda to divide the land of Israel into East Jerusalem and West Jerusalem. This land was given to Abraham through his son Isaac and Jacob, and so anybody who decides to take this land away from Israel is actually setting themselves on a collision path with the Lord God Almighty. F. Because of false shepherds in the church. The house of the Lord has been turned into a place for the love of money and the preaching of prosperity gospel. The churches have been turned into a place of witchcraft and a place for preaching what is called a postmodern gospel. A gospel sweet to the ears of the listeners, a gospel which the itching ears of the listeners want to hear, a compromised gospel. Even though this explicit message and warning is to the United States of America, it touches on everybody and every nation across the earth because when the judgments of the Lord hits USA, then all the nations and people of the earth will be directly or indirectly be affected. And as I earlier stated, nobody knows the day or the hour but these are the signs that usher in the rapture of the Bride of Christ into heaven. And so I believe some of the above judgments will occur before the rapture of the Bride of Christ while some of them will occur after the rapture during the Great Tribulation. The unfortunate thing is that very many people are going to die when these judgments hit and so they will suddenly find themselves in hell for those who shall have not repented of their sins. And so do not wait to see this judgment before you get right with the Lord because by then it might be too late because some will find themselves in hell due to sudden destruction. Meanwhile the rapture might even happen at the same time as the judgment. And remember also that in the midst of all the above judgments, the Lord God Almighty, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit protects and provides safety for His children, those who have repented of their sins and are living in righteousness, holiness, truth and complete surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ, according to Psalm 91. Shalom.